place an x in the table to match each expression with its opposite. So if I had the number 4, the opposite of that is negative 4. They're the same distance from 0, but on opposite sides of 0. So g, <coughs> sorry, so let's say g is 4. So if g equals 4, the opposite of 4 would be a negative. So this one needs to be negative. Now, if I had negative 4, the opposite of that would be a positive. So the opposite of a negative is a positive. Hey, this time, right, we're just, we're plugging in a number to help ourselves think about this. 1 times 4 equals 4. It's a positive number, so the opposite of that is a negative. Now we have 0, and we're taking away 4. 0 minus 4 is negative 4, so the opposite of a negative is a positive. So every time we're just thinking, what is it? What's the opposite of it? What is it? What's the opposite? Okay, opposites are positives and negatives. So if it is negative, we want to make it positive. If it's positive, we want to make it negative.